question the other day after seeing the video we were talking about how not to swing around when doing hanging leg raises overhead you saw me do that it's like we're trying to break the bar once again I put my hands out do you hear those giantly loud bugs anyway we want to break the bar in order to not have ourselves swinging around hanging knee hanging leg raises and I had someone ask well, how do I do that with uh, using parallel bars? Here's the cool part. It's exactly the same thing. We're gonna have that same breaking the stick feeling, same direction, everything right down here. What's cool about that is it's gonna lock our shoulders in. It's gonna keep them safe, keep them engaged. I'll show you what I mean. So again, think about that twist here. Do you see my shoulders engaged? If I'm not, I'm down there. Ugh, I don't even like to fake that. So here I am and I can do all kinds of cool stuff and not swing around. So I've got to really think about it. You can see when I'm not doing it. That lets me stay in control and it keeps my shoulders safe. I'll show you from the back. And you can see how I'm not using momentum at all. So anyway, that's how you keep yourself stable. You won't be able to really sling yourself around as much with that. And well, frankly, you won't be building much muscle if you're slinging yourself around anyway, unless you're doing some kind of a trick. And I don't know how to do that. So that's all on you. <laughs> now, since I have you here, these little parallel bars are a lot of fun. You can do a lot of stuff with them. For instance, of course you can do dips, which I'll show you again. We wanna have that engaged feeling in our shoulders. My elbow pits are facing forward, all right? And I'm staying nice and safe. Did my elbows pop? <laughs> I don't wanna to go too low, because then you see that gets all weird in my shoulders. You don't wanna do that. I just wanna go about here and pull back up. If you get where you're just stuck, then go ahead and put your feet down. It's not worth trying to power through and injuring yourself. All right, so if you have long bars like this, there's a fun combo you can do. I'll just do a short version of it. So I'm up here, I take a few hand walk steps. So that was six, and then I'll do dips. I can do some more hand walk steps, and then more dips. And that adds up pretty darn quickly. And before we leave, another cool thing we can do, I don't really know the name for these, I just call them Rocky sit-ups. And while they are kind of like an intermediate, advanced type of move, they're not as hard as they look. But if you remember your hollow position, you're gonna be using that here. Definitely don't try these if you're a beginner. Um, and also don't try these if you have a hard time keeping your lower back pressed into the ground, on like leg raises from the floor, anything like that. If you're not quite there with those, you know, stay with those. Don't try this yet. But if your hollow position is solid and you know exactly what I'm talking about, then, you know, maybe give these a try. This is super fun. And, and it looks, they look cool too. You'll see if the wind doesn't blow over the camera. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook my feet here and I've got my legs straight. I'm nice and short, so this works for me. This hits back here. It's almost like when people do um, sit-ups on the uh, glued ham. So anyway, I'm here, and I'm just gonna come out. This is the first version. It's just to kind of keep that hollow position. I'm very engaged right here. You can probably see me shaking. So it's a little more difficult here. This is very difficult. This is a little bit less difficult. Infinitely tiny bit easier. So that's one thing you can do is just hang out there you want a buddy do it you can like kind of duel to see who has to give in sooner it's a really fun way to stay motivated and then of course you can also just do kind of sit-ups with these but again make sure you're really using your abs you're not using that back with this at all want to stay safe otherwise why do it right okay so you can do sit-ups like this it's actually not too hard you can go really quite nutty with it if you want I've done these with a medicine ball before, and that gets very interesting very quickly. 
So anyway, I hope I've given you some ideas on how to misuse your local fit trail a little bit, or if you have access to bars like these in a park.